Hi and welcome to our series of VoIPNOW Server Configuration Tutorials. In this video you will learn how to create service provider, organization, and user accounts. You will also learn how to add phone extensions. Let's talk about the roles that are present in VoIPNOW. VoIPNOW relies on a multi-tenant structure with role-based administration where each service provider can have several organizations, each organization multiple users, and so on. Every account comes with roles, permissions, and limits that are either set or inherited from the upper level. To configure the system and start making calls, we need to start from the top and add a service provider account. Fill in the contact and company name fields, choose a username to log into the interface, then complete the rest of the fields. When you're in the charging plan section, you can choose one of the existing plans. Once you're done with these configurations, click OK to start creating account permissions and limits. Under permissions, you can grant a service provider account, management privileges to system functions such as child account management, and resources management. Then you can set the account limits. Let's set a limit of 10 organizations with 100 users and 100 extensions, IVRs, calling queues, and so on. You will need to fill the maximum number of concurrent calls, both public and internal, and disk quotas for voicemail, call recordings, sound files, and faxes. Finally, you can assign available DID numbers to the service provider account. You now have a service provider account you can work with. Let's also create a charging plan which will be assigned to all organization accounts belonging to this service provider account. Now that this is completed, we can continue by adding organizations to our service provider account. An organization account is typically a business entity with users, where each user can hold one or several extensions. Add an organization account and fill in the fields just like you did when you created a service provider account. It's good to note that the organization limits cannot exceed the limits set in the parent level of the service provider account. Once the organization account is created, set up a charging plan just as you did previously. Finally, add a user. The same steps apply. Set the corresponding limits to the account level, the number of phone extensions, concurrent calls, and disk quotas for the user-generated content such as voicemail, call recordings, and faxes. Then create the phone extensions. Remember, that a user can have one or several extensions, including phone extensions and special extensions such as IVRs and queues. Enter a name for the extension and a number. This is the short number used for calls between users inside the same organization. We have now created user 1 with extension 001. Then repeat the process. 
create another user and another extension. Let's say user2 with extension 002. This will allow you to make calls between the two extensions. For the extension features, you can leave all the fields on the default values. They can be changed later according to the user's needs. You now have a service provider account with an organization account and two user accounts with two phone extensions, 001 and 002. Each account level should have its own charging plan assigned to the corresponding child account. It's now time to make a test call. To test inbound and outbound calling, Install two soft phones such as XLite or Zoiper and configure accounts using account details of the two extensions you created. Finally, make the call. Congratulations, you now have a working VoIPNOW system. I hope you have enjoyed our videos and thank you for watching.